YouTube. Uh, welcome to another tutorial from FX China House, uh, tutorial for After Effects. Uh, this is also a template that you can download here free on my channel. Um, you know, in the first part, I'm going to show you how to use the template, uh, how, how to how to use your logo on this uh, animation, and then the, on the second part, I'm going to show you how to make um, this cool effect uh, on the audio spectrum uh, here on After Effects. So uh, it's a really cool tip that you can learn here on uh, FX in a house. I hope you enjoy this. So. Um, I know that uh, that other effect uh, it's not uh, new, uh, but uh, I have a lot of people uh, here on my channel asking for this tutorial and uh, asking for this template. So uh, I just uh, decided to make this uh, for you guys. And, uh, I hope you'll enjoy this. So uh, let's go to the to the template, uh, or if you want to to go past for the tutorial, just uh, uh, lose things a little bit and uh, pass for one or two minutes, and uh, you'll be ready to go for the tutorial. So let's go. Alright, so uh, this is the template, and then um, I'm just going to show you how this is organized and uh, how, how you can change things for you to make your, your own thing. And um, it's really easy, so uh, this is the, the first uh, starting and the fade, uh, just the fade in, fade out uh, for, your, for your animation. Uh, you can stretch this uh, or you can stretch the compositions. Uh, just always remember if you put a track the rate of 2, 5 or 7 minutes, you have to to go here on the comps and then I make a, a larger uh, file uh, of it. Just go here on the composition settings and uh, stretch your your duration setting for for the time that you want. It's really easy. So uh, this is just some uh, shapes that are animated uh, along the along the logo or along this shape, and um, this is a text that you can change for your for your art, artist uh, on your channel, and um, and this is the text. Uh, this is just this small text uh, with a track and uh, the name of the track. So um, you can go here and uh, change this. Uh, just uh, hold your horizontal type tool. Just go here. Uh, oh, sorry. You can delete this. You just go here, horizontal type tool, and just change this for whatever you want. So. Uh, it will appear on the, this screen. So uh, this is the, my logo. Uh, you will change this for your logo. So um, it's really easy to change. So I just have to to click uh, the my logo and then press Alt, uh, click, press Alt, and now you can uh, grab your own uh, your own logo and just uh, paste it over the um, over the my logo. So uh, if you press play, you see that your animation. Uh, uh, gets along with uh, with your your new logo. Uh, you probably only have to to adjust uh, the a little bit this uh, or the position of the logo. So I'm going to press uh, Control Z to get my logo back again. And uh, I think this is this. So uh, on the audio layers uh, for the other reaction, uh, for you to add your tracks, uh, you have to you have to go here. Uh, just change your track, and then on this uh, tree. On these three layers, you go into your effect controls, and then just post this uh, uh, link this to your track. So you're going to delete this one, and you're going to put um, here on the other layer. You're going to cho choose the track that you have uh, here down below here on the layer. So uh, it's very easy. So uh, hope you enjoy this uh, this template, and I uh, hope you make uh, cool things with it. So uh, I'm going to also uh, show you how to to make the this audio spectrum and uh, you follow this. So um, I'm going to open a new project. I'm not going to save this because I already had it saved. I'm going to make a new composition. I'm going to set it for this. Uh, nine seconds, it's okay. Uh, I have my, my screen resolution for 1920 for 1080. It is cool. And then I'm going to choose a new layer. I'm going to put a solid. I'm going to make a See this, like a kind of like a blue black uh, background. I'm going to Control D, Control D, to copy this, and then on this layer, I'm going to to go here, and I'm going to put uh, an ellipse tool. I'm going to draw a shape on this uh, on this layer. So uh, I'm going to uh, just try to choose the middle of the screen, and here, and then. Start uh, dragging your your shape and then control uh, shift and alt so that uh, she can be selected 
uh, on the middle of the screen so you can rotate this easily and then um, and there we have our shape so um, on this uh, on this layer I'm going to uh, select effect effect generate and I'm going to put uh, audio spectrum so on this audio spectrum uh, what I need to do uh, to get this uh, working on the on this layer is very easy so um, I'm going to choose a also a track. I'm going to import a track. Uh, I'm going to choose the same track that I have on the template because it's on the here on the folder. You can choose yours. I'm going to bring it over here on the layers, and then uh, on this solid, I'm going to effects, and I'm going to bring uh, the breaks uh, my track over here. So uh, if I press play, you see that your audio react is already reacting, uh, but uh, this is not working correctly. So um, what you need to do. I'm going to also put this on white. I'm going to bring this also on white. That's okay. So uh, what I need to do here, I'm going to put this on a on a right side on the side B. That's okay. And now I'm going to put my path on the mask so uh, that uh, uh, how can I say uh, so that um, the alveolar layer reacts on all the paths. So I'm going to set mask. And, uh, and just click here, and if I press play, I see that I already have uh, the audio reaction uh, working, and it uh, looks cool, but um, I'm going to make uh, this look a lot cooler, so uh, I'm going to bring uh, this layer over here, and then on this uh, transform, I'm going to set my rotation uh, here on zero, and then I'm going to bring this over here, I'm gonna put here on 360. That's okay. So that uh, when the, the audio layer starts, uh, makes just a, a little bit rotation so that it has like a better fluid thing. So uh, just for, for us to, to play a little bit with this. So uh, what you can start doing now is just uh, tweaking this uh, this audio layer. So uh, you can uh, pull up the frequency bands a lot more like to about 160 should be cool yeah and on the start frequency I'm going to put this like on about 1,600 uh, should be cool like this and pressing play that uh, you see that uh, your bands are a lot, a lot um, smaller so I'm going to put this in about 400 you can also like uh, play a lot with these values and uh, make this look cool. So I'm going to put this end frequency to about 900, uh, 6,900, and put this to to 2,000. And then here on the maximum height, I'm going to bring this over a little bit more. So um, I'm going to also bring my track a little bit uh, on front, so that we can have like a more kick and uh, let's just see how this is working so yeah, it's working but uh, should have more uh, I'm gonna say more height uh, over here on the duration maximum height let's put this to about 8000 yeah 8000 should be cool and on this uh, end frequency you can bump this a little bit less and this also a little bit less so um, if you play now you see that your <coughs> sorry you see that your, our player uh, is getting cool but uh, it gets cut on, on this part so uh, what you need to do just for we, this works okay you just have to go here on the, on the mask and get this on inverted so um, if you press play you see that you have all the other reaction uh, working cool that's okay so uh, now we can start to uh, play a lot with this so um, this is the part of where creatives uh, I think uh, uh, have to have to, to make their, their own thing so uh, uh, that comes with your your testing so uh, that comes with your uh, with the things that you that you that you make for your or can I say from your experiences so um, I'm going to bring uh, this layer, I'm going to put this like this, I'm going to control D, I'm going to copy this layer, 
And then here on the display options, I'm going to put this on analog dot. And I'm going to uh, go here on the transform. I'm going to scale this just a little bit. Uh, 105 should be cool. Okay. And now I'm going to change this color to a blue, like a blue, like a sea blue. That's cool. And all full blue. And that's okay. So um, if you see now, you have uh, you see that you have this cool dot, like bumping uh, on front of uh, on on the first uh, audio layer. And you send. Uh, I think it looks a lot cooler. So. Uh, Yeah, that would, that's it. So um, now you can start, uh, you can say like adding some shapes over here, uh, like control. Let me see, like you can make uh, control D, copy another layer, and then put this. Uh, so we're going to the the first one. I'm going to here. I'm going to set this to B. Yeah, B. It's okay, and then. We're going to set this one to side A. All right. So um, on this side, I I'm going to put this on. Uh, let's see, just just a yellow, just for us to contrast things, just to experience uh, things. So uh, I'm going to put this also on yellow. Let's see what thing that we have here. So. Um, Let's check this out. Yeah, I think it looks uh, a lot cooler. So um, that's what I said. Love, uh, make your experiences, make your tests. Um, I was just uh, uh, wanted to show you just uh, this quick tip on how to how to make your audio reaction on After Effects, and uh, it's really easy. Uh, it's not new, but it's uh, really cool for, for you to use on your animation. So uh, this was a quick tip from After Effects, uh, from FX in House, and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. So um, if you want to, to download the template, just uh, follow up the link uh, that's on the description of the video. And uh, keep following for more tutorials and more client projects. So guys, uh, have a great weekend, and uh, see you soon. Bye.